Today I've actually been thinking about what specifically the title of this video should be about. Specifically in relation to all of the many hints that I've been presenting in the last videos of my script keepers and the subject matter at hand which seems to be quite a very heavy one in terms of first of all trying to understand it and let alone perceive it and I've left some ideas within almost every video that I've made that I've presented including the last few ones with the near-death experiences as well or as I would like to call it the temporary death experience because you're temporary, temporarily out of your body in a death state so therefore I will be calling it the temporary death state and not a near death because you either die or you don't so that's the difference in that and the reason what I thought of bringing up today in terms of the material that I've been presenting along with the countless ideas that we've been sharing with one another over the time I found it very much important to re-articulate and represent the understanding of the reality which within which we exist the realm the realm dynamics which is the relationship that you have within yourself and with another and your family and your mem and the members that you know the communities people that you speak with and based on the ritual period of the Easter, Ishtar, whatever uh, the ritual is called in this time, day and age, it's irrelevant to the subject at hand. It is very much thought provoking and very much part of the process through which we're going. The reason I'm bringing this information in is because I would like to reiterate and re-explain the dynamics of the metaphysics of this realm. As much as I've been trying to share the understanding in terms of how to grasp the essence of the reality, the realm that you live in, it still seems to be a struggle to understand it in the way that it's being presented without actually just literally um, throwing it out there and really just making a big scene about it because that's literally um, the only way that people seem to understand it and I'm not speaking about you as the, as the viewer I'm talking about in general there's a, a very strong drive to, to um, collapse channels such as myself and others that I know about that uh, are presenting information in a very deep spiritual original manner so much so that it essentially makes you appear as if you're a bit insane but then I used to get upset about that and I don't anymore because now I revel in it and for those of you who know me you know that I am extremely rebellious in how I present the information as well, which makes you guys rebellions, uh, re rebels as well. Needless to say, I wanted to bring in the explanation of the noosphere, which I've decided to call the field of infinite potential. And the reason I'm discussing this in this specific concept or this specific um, pro, uh, 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 view is so that we are able to understand what we are looking at whether you know a small percentage of your journey in exploring uh, the inner dynamics of yourself or whether you're exploring the dynamics of those that of what you would consider to be a truth a truth because your truth is not necessarily my truth so all that i can do on my end is to share with you my experience and to explain to you what I've experienced and what I've what I've seen and what I've um, gone through 
and clearly this subject is a, is a, is a hell of a subject to to bring across because um, it was meant to be discussed with uh, people and it didn't come through the way that it should have gone through. I mean, the information in itself is, is extremely dense. So I can understand why there are certain elements that do not want to have this discussion or the subject um, even uh, approached or broached or breached or whatever you want to call it, um, or even let alone explained in the manner that it, that it requires to be un explained. See, the noosphere or the field of infinite potential, which is what we should all think of it as, has then no name. And it's the naming of these things that essentially give or take or that relinquish then or, or then the person that names that thing is the one that then owns that thing. So we by our respectful selves do not want to call it any name because we don't want to take ownership of of it yet it is a very important key or element that humanity functions within has always functioned within has always been the ceiling of infinite potential for mostly everything that has to be done or that can be done in this reality. You see, the game itself is not about only the uh, playing by the bully's rules, the game of the reality or the game play itself, the rules of this reality requires originally that there has to be balance at all times but obviously it's been a problem for some time and so what has caused this problem slowly over time eroding your your ability to uh, function in the manner in which you should be functioning in because living in misery is, and gone beyond the place of misery and is is not okay and this is not just because of the human um, possibly the human uh, shortcomings or that you don't have enough money or that you're in suffering physical pain at all times I'm talking about everything in it I'm speaking about it in an objective perspective it's the lack of access to the field of infinite potential that essentially provides a chance to invent something. To, uh, instead of having water in a drought place, um, you'd be inventing an idea or a plan that will come to you and you'll start to build on something. We are resourceful. That is our nature. That is, that is I'd like to believe that that a percentage of people on the planet, human people, um, who are in alignment with their spirit and their souls, that are able to be resourceful and able to invent an idea or think up something and uh, create some form of support in terms of having to lay out water uh, for it to then come to your little garden you know if you instead of carrying buckets so I'm using that as a very um, it's perhaps a weak example but I am going on what I feel I need to present in this specific work this video it may be a little lengthy I don't know how far this is gonna go we'll see at the end um, but I want to present the information clearly so that you are able to understand it and this goes beyond any religion faith or belief system of uh, ideas or um, things that you feel gives you some sort of uh, faith-based belief okay and it's not because of the specific day 
this this the, the the good friday that we have gone through it's got nothing to do with that it's got everything to do with the precipice of accessing the knowledge to understand why things are as bad as they appear to be why they are worse than they should have been why it's like that we exist within a reality that is based on ideas beliefs when ideas and beliefs are happening or taking place the function of that idea or belief becomes can become weaponized against you and it becomes weaponized not so much that you'll know exactly that it's been weaponized but it becomes something that traps you or locks you into that specific belief system it locks you into that that belief so if you believe in Santa Claus, then you're locked into the belief that Santa Claus is always going to come to you, even though you've decided, no, you can't believe in Santa Claus because that doesn't exist. You're always going to be stuck in that belief. And we've covered in the works over the few months that we've had over the year, uh, the belief systems that are keyed in as contracts that we have, that we had to get rid of, that we had to revoke within ourselves. Contracts that locked us into old um, belief systems, old bones of ideas from long time ago, from traditions, from tribes, from settlements, from communities, from parents of many timelines, many lifetimes that we've lived within. Even if you cannot remember your past lives, um, I can tell you that for a fact your experience in your current life is also affected by some of those things and I'm not speaking about becoming um, emotionally conflicted about innocent um, lives be being destroyed or uh, abused because that is not what I'm speaking about right now I'm not talking about that I'm talking about a field of belief that people have such as believing in stuff you know like centuries ago people believed that at this point in time in the history of the human civilization that we are entering equinoxes and vernal equ vernal equinoxes and then it's this equinox then it's that equinox then the moon and the sun is almost the same size and so we must all plant seeds and then we must grow our food so basically the reality is about consumption it's about functionality it's about life okay the system overlay in itself is the mirror world and i see there's been there again the word mirror world is like i swear i swear it's like it's like sweets that you drop somewhere and the ants come from everywhere to try and take the word, the word, mirror world, and reconform it according to themselves. But nonetheless, I'm not going to go into that direction. I want to explain to you how severe and how serious the control of the reality is. I've explained it before, but I'm going to explain it again in this way so that you understand it. The system, the, the field of infinite potential is the field, it's a highly coveted field. It also is understood to be the grail, the, the, the holy grail that everyone goes after. The, uh, but your bloodline is what's going to make you access the grail. It's not really like that. It's about who you are that actually allows you to access that. And you can, you can sacrifice a hundred people in a money-driven war and to gain access 
to that field and you can't get to it because it's not going to work for you. So the same thing applies to these others that are that I call the Ministry of Magic because I don't want to give them anything else. And really, I should maybe call them Misery of Magic because that's what they've been trying to do is they've managed to replicate what they assume the field of infinite potential is about and they've succeeded because this field that is underneath the the field of infinite potential the field of infinite potential is right up there and here's the system overlay and it's being controlled by the misery of magic and the knuckleheads that are running their forums and so on and so forth. And they are essentially controlling that, which means they are, they can say that they are in control of this realm. Because if they can control that system overlay as they've been trying to, using misery to feed it. And this goes beyond the alien and the alien love bite and the alien invasions and the blue beams and bloodlines and reptilians and all that stuff. It goes beyond that. The system overlay is a field that was manufactured with the effort of making sure that they built their own world to control this realm that you're in. This realm that you live in is taken over by them. That is why your ability to create things had become a lost art it had become something that you felt you've lost you've lost the ability to do so and then why do you want to create because the way you're able to access that field the original field or the field of infinite potential is for you to be able to eventually exit because that is how it's supposed to be until you're entering into another realm because that's where you're gonna go you're gonna go through realms throughout this time this is the third realm of earth-like uh, experience and they don't want me to tell you this because they've been hammering doing little psychic magic shit to try and stop me they stop the people that i'm wanting to talk with they hurt the people um, that i want that i'm wanting to communicate with because of the subject so i'm thinking maybe i should just bring it in and tell you that they want chaos to reign. They want to essentially control the entire realm along with that field that they've manufactured. And I've spoken to other to to my members who connected with me through the lectures. What the first what is actually going on? And so it shouldn't be news to you when you hear it. However, those of you who are unfamiliar with this material, I would advise you to please look at everything else or ask me a question. There's certainly not going to be any judgment there. So, the issue is this. Because of the manufacturing of the system overlay or, yeah, the manufacturing of the system overlay, it is presenting itself like a mirror world because essentially what is being used to mirror onto this realm is reflected back to it. I said that uh, John D fashioned a part of it along with all the other insane people efforts that have also done the same thing. They have been working towards that. Alistair Crowley wanted to be the 
king of that thing and he lost of course i'm bringing up the subject because it's very serious it has to it has to be understood that this is not something that comes magically in my mind to talk about this is something that's been that's been there for years for many many years for as long as i've existed within this realm beyond this realm i've existed as well i've existed in many timelines realms back and they have been trying to take over and this is the, the, the this is the first time that they've been able to do it because the capacity to understand to push through an idea to 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 accept an idea because it sounds nice or i like the person that says it so and i like the music that they throw in their video and they're so pretty and you know i should just go for that and you know uh walking into a shoe closet and oh this is heaven these type of ideas and beliefs and systems and things like that and allowing a child to dictate to people that they need to, um, you know, tax people for breathing. That, that, that is, how, how can you actually allow that process to take place? But anyway, I'm not even going to go there. I actually see this. Uh, there are others that are seeing it as well. And many of you are seeing it, that we are pushing against the ceiling of this mirror wall. We're pushing through it. We're actually pushing through the foundation of it. So um, if you break through the foundation, you're able to see that which is the, the belly of the beast lying there in the floor. It's dirty. And it's full of magical rituals and spells and bindings and things of, of and sacrifices and um, people that are that are used to patch up this mirror world. So whoever said, "Yeah, you're all a bunch of batteries," yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe not all the way though, because I certainly do not agree with that. I'm not a battery. And I'm sure that, then, that that those of you who are listening here are also not a battery. You're not a battery and you're not a mind-controlled slave. So essentially, it is something that does exist. There was a, a philosopher and an occultist called Descartes. Descartes. And in Afrikaans, you'd call it Descartes, but we'll keep it to the English vernacular and call him Descartes. And he experienced the same thing. He challenged Aristotle, of course, and he made notes and he wrote stuff and he wrote books and he did little experiments here and there. And he found out that essentially he broke through the realms and saw the same thing that I did in a different way. I didn't go on any psychedelic, psychedelic uh, trip. He did, though. He went on serious, a hell of a lot of psychedelic trips, and he actually died because they couldn't bring him back. That's how he died at 54. And But his work still remained. So the issue with regards to what he discovered and so many others. Foucault is also another who spoke about it. <clears throat> and they saw these things. They saw what the reality looked like. What the realm looked like. And I always laugh when people go and do this whole flat earth thing. You guys are so off the mark. You've not really seen it the way it should be. The way it is being seen. My experience can tell me that I have seen it's not exactly like that. It looks more like a, 
you know if you take a water drop and you look at the water drop you'll be able to, to, set, to then see that that's exactly what the world looks like it changes all the time it changes all the time the planets around in the area of space are keyed in to this planet this planet is a realm along with the other external planetary elements that are part of it it keys together it's like a it's like a body of a human it's like an imprint of a human the macrocosm of the micro the micro of the macro that is what it is you you, you can uh, get upset with what i'm saying i don't care i'm just telling you that is exactly what it is it's not a hundred percent spherical the pla the planets are not a hundred percent spherical and that far from the earth it is bent around the earth like inside an egg the egg is a big deal so I'm not going to leave this open for any challenge either you can leave or you can ask or give your opinion whatever you want to do it's fine but I do want to explain to you that the egg let's say the egg is this shape the way it should be and everything inside is in a layer and spiraled to the top I brought this information out like I don't know how many years ago because of my experiences and I thought that it would somehow be understood but uh, it's just become worse the people that that are that are basically exploring it they've just mangled it into new age um, crap and making their own videos about oneism we should all be one with one another or we should all be scattered all over the world like I don't know what you know so it's so it's not if it's not that it's this and <clears throat> then it's the end of the world and then it's this happening yeah it's the end of the world if you die if you die it's the end of your world that was the end of your life you died so where i'm going with this is i'm trying to explain to you that the system overlay is being fractured by us and by those like us because we have come into our own power we have let me rather say this we have acknowledged our power of who we are we will exit out of that no, we're not going to get in a car and drive to the end of the world somewhere in Grand Canyon and drop off like Thelma and Louise. We're not going to do that. I'm saying, or uh, the next thing, the, the other one is feeling like um, we are taken out of our bodies and thrown up in the air with some blue light, whatever. That's not that either. When I say you exit it, you exit it in here. You exit it where the control mechanisms are in here. Okay, you exit in here. And once you exit it within yourself, when you exit through that experience that you're living in a society that needs to be conformed by them trying to strengthen the system overlay because they feel it's busy fracturing, because we are fracturing it, and because we are challenging it we are challenging it in the form of um, community services we are fracturing it by focusing on on good things doing good things for us for one another and for ourselves we are fearless that is how we start doing it that is how we experience that process and 
we are still, we are by no means done with the work at all. I can tell you that right now. We are no way near being done with it. We are now in the middle of it only. And this is not the event. There are events every day of your life. I've said it also. I've said the event that you that keep people keep thinking is like this whole 5D event, 5D event. Uh, we've, you do this every day in your thoughts. Once you go into your thoughts and you think about something, why is the pen the shape it is? Thinking happens with questioning. Ask yourself a question or are you too lazy to ask that question? It's not about being afraid of the answer though, but I think it's more about lazy being asking the question. Why? I don't, I don't know why I should ask the question. It might be just too much for me to comprehend. I'd rather just go buy new shoes and new clothes and that shit. So you're going to go, you're going to travel and you're going to go through a period where you will be feeling by yourself. You will feel like you're alone. Unless you've got someone that are, that, that, that's like right next to you at all times. A friend, a person, a family member, someone that you love, that you, you can talk about the same stuff. The politics, the changes, the orders, the 110 million thousands of orders that they keep throwing up onto everyone. They keep piling it onto you so that you are unable to see what's going on. And that you must just relinquish, you know, because they want the disco ball to run the show. Because that's what it is. It's a, it's a, it's a disco ball with mirrors at all times. And uh, people run after every little blinking little spot so they can consume it and throw it in their own stuff, you know. Never ever. I've never seen works. I've never seen works besides a few very small percent of people that actually say, you know, I've read a book that's written by so-and-so and he states this and my comment is this or my critique on it is that. Do you know how very few people are afraid of doing that? They rather just steal and steal and steal and then keep re-spinning re the information for people that are that are unaware of how to understand spirituality, basic spirituality, let alone basic intelligence. So the system overlay is being fractured. That's what I said. The system overlay, it, as it's being fractured, so it's weeping. It's weeping because there's a lot of that which was left and, and destroyed and hurt and used to plug up this thing to make it function because there's a little fracture in it uh, or a little, little bit more than just a fracture a little cut into it it's busy weeping and that which comes out of that are those that have been used as fodder and as material to build that system and so that's what's happening now are you able to access the system the, the 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 field of infinite potential not yet you will though you will because your journey is meant to be out eventually in your life when you pass over so now There is um, this field, the system overlay is mechanical and organic and godlike in its frequency at all times because that's what you do when you when you claim something like many of they do when they, many of what they did is come to a place and just take over the land and just put their flag there and they, that's our land that's our flag and we're the king of the hill. You know, that's where kings and queens come from. Not from any actual royalty. They made themselves the king and the queen. Or, this is my country. Even those that have been 
on diaspora, calling themselves, needing to ever, ever eternally struggle to get to the green land, the greener land on that end, also do the same thing. People take from people things. And so I have an issue with theft. I have an issue with theft, with lies and theft. How is it that humans have become so diminutive? But then again, it's part of that program. It's part of the program of those that have, that have been running the system overlay show. You know, a, a few months ago, I did an interview uh, and I said, you know, they always put dwarfs into something. But you know what it actually means? I, I, I didn't really give you the actual meaning for it, but the dwarf is really main referenced not because of disrespect to a, to a person of smaller stature, but that it is a symbol. It's used as a symbol uh, for the diminutive human, a small human. They call it the homunculus. That's their word for it. It's, it's an alchemical word for a small human, which is the system overlay. It's a, it's a smaller copy of, or it was, it was a smaller version of the original field of infinite potential. A copy of it. A mirror of it. So that that mirror can then reflect mirror back onto you. Can you see it? Can you actually physically see it? Yes, you can. You can see that when you look with keen mind uh, awareness that you're able to see this weird little net-like field that wasn't there before. You can see it. I can see it. If you can't see it, that well, then you can feel it. You can feel it in places where there's like more dense in certain places and less dense in other places. You can feel it. Is the medication that was used for the the jibber jabber has it has it helped? Yes, it's definitely helped to make the system overlay stronger because then you know. Sadly enough, the frequency then allows that system overlay to work. I've seen, uh, I think I had the dream about this happening in 2008. And I was adamantly wanting to tell people this is going to happen. You know, there is a way to stop it. And that's when it's just begun, slowly, slowly becoming, it's just become thicker now. The shamans actually call the field of infinite potential the net of time. The net of time is something that requires the original way to have done it was you do something in a respectful manner and it then comes back to you so that you're able to, you know, operate and function in the way that you should be functioning. But anyway. Uh, that 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 aside, that hasn't happened for a long time. So there's more. There's a there's a bigger mis misery that's amped up, and uh, there's just as much boredom as there was ever since the beginning of time. People are people are bored with deeper spiritual knowledge. Just generally, I can see it in the questions, in the commentary, just overall, generally speaking. And anyway. I thought I'd just uh, explain to you what is the importance of the system overlay and why they keep needing to have it function the way it is because I said that this is the war on consciousness. It's always been the war on consciousness. That was it allowed? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think it was allowed by the original creator. Then sometimes I'm wondering, has the original creator kind of like let go of the project and just, you know, this thing's running off by itself type of thing? Because that's what it feels like, I think. Or, can no one reach the original creator within themselves? I know of a few of us that can. I've certainly not lost the contact. 
and I've asked why is this happening and I've received the answers of the problem is the idea of free will. So as much as it was given as something that would help you, it was abused and destroyed. And that's basically how it, how there's just simply no access. So that is a problem. We are in the middle of the, we are the, in the thick of it now. So think about it. Uh, really dig deep inside of your consciousness. I never talk again.